That's so cool. I'm, I'm curious about the diversity of types of co-ops that are included in, in, this, in this group. Yeah, Madison is interesting because we have co-ops in a variety of different sectors. Um, so the co-ops that are most active in MedWork right now would be the Interpreters Co-op, which is mm. sort of a service-based co-op, like consulting service-based co-op. Um, Union Technology Co-op, which again, is service-based they do like um computer security stuff mm. um uh union cab which is a taxi company which is huge and also has been through a lot of difficulty even before the pandemic with uber and lyft mm -hmm. um so they're in an industry that has been really um challenged <clears throat> in the last few years um there's a new co-op called common good bookkeeping which is um was developed um, in part through the city's initiative to develop more worker co-ops. One of the sort of um, areas that was highlighted as a good need for worker co-ops is like co-ops that can provide services to other co-ops. Um, and bookkeeping is something that a lot of co-ops need. Huge. And <laughs> having bookkeepers who are familiar with co-op bookkeeping is a huge advantage. Um, so the common good bookkeeping has been involved. Um, Isthmus Engineering is an engineering and manufacturing cooperative. Um, they make machines that make machines. Um, so again, we have a really broad sort of like service rate, service and like consulting type co-ops. Um, we have transportation, we have um, engineering and like manufacturing pieces. Um, and then um, in the past, we've had involvement from community pharmacy, which is a um, full pharmacy and wellness store um, that's been around for 50 years. Hmm. Um, and I think at some points, Nature's Bakery, which is a bakery that does, um, most of their work is like wholesale. Um, and at this point, they mostly do veggie burgers and um, granola, um, but they've been around for a long time as well. Um, Madison has sort of a few waves of co-ops. Um, and so there's a wave that we're sort of like in the like 40 to 50 year old range. Um, so really long time businesses. And then there's like sort of a, a bunch that started around like 2010, 2011. Um, and then there's a bunch of new ones that have just been started in the last couple of years. Um, we've also had involvement from the Wisconsin Natural Heritage Cooperative, which is a really great co-op um, that does they have a contract with the Department of Natural Resources, and mm -hmm. it was formed by people who were um, in a who were being outsourced to a nonprofit that was not treating them particularly well. Mm -hmm. Doing this outsourced contract to the Department of Natural Resources, and they decided to form a co-op and compete for the contract, and they got it. Um, cool. So they're like in a very like their customer is the government and. Mm -hmm they were able to show that like they could outbid a nonprofit that had been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And that they were in control of and they got to make the decisions about. So they converted like, I want to say in like 2011, 2012, sort of right around the, um, like just sort of in the aftermath of the um, protests in Wisconsin about the killing of public sector unions. Hmm. 